Hi, my name is Dr. Brett Levine from Beach City ZNTs, and today I'm going to talk about how to properly use nasal saline sprays. There are many different kinds of nasal saline sprays. There are squirt bottles and aerosol cans, which is what I'm going to demonstrate today. It doesn't matter really what kind of aerosol can you get. Uh, it can be simply saline, ocean, air, Neomed nasal mist, as long as it is drug free. It shouldn't have any decongestant or any other products in it. Sometimes they have preservatives and some patients will feel a reaction to the preservatives and prefer to have no drug at all in it and you can check that on the can. Nasal saline sprays accomplish three different goals. Number one, they moisturize the nose. And that's very important if you're a patient who tends to get nosebleeds or are living or traveling into a dry environment where the air is very dry, or if you take medications that dry your nose or even use nasal steroid sprays, which can be dry. Nasal saline sprays also mechanically wash your nose to clean out debris, drainage, and help can decrease or even resolve an infection. They also decrease the allergens that you breathe in if you tend to have allergies. So they can treat allergies by washing away the things you're breathing in and reacting to before you go on to an antihistamine. I find that a lot of patients don't use nasal saline sprays correctly, so that's why I'm making this video to assist my patients in how to use it properly. And I'm going to demonstrate it right now. So essentially you want to take the spray without putting it inside your nostril, but just at the opening of your nostril, and you want to spray it all around in 360 degrees and then blow it out. It's as simple as that. You shouldn't be feeling pressure in your ears. You don't need to inhale the spray and you don't need to ingest the spray. You go ahead like this. That is it. A can typically lasts, for me, twice a day, over a month. And if you're using an entire can in a day or a week, you're spraying too much at once. And spraying too much water or volume at once can put pressure on your eustachian tube and give you ear pain or pressure, or it can just waste it by squirting it all down your throat, which is unnecessary. If you've had sinus surgery and have larger, more open sinus cavities, then you may need more saline spray with the mist at one time, or you may want to use a different option, such as the neti pot or Neomed sinus rinse, which I'll demonstrate in a separate video. Thanks for your time.